How long you been with this man who's 40 years older than you? Um, not super long. How long? Uh, like two months. Okay. So you guys been together for two months. Um, Mm -hmm. would you consider this a serious relationship? This is a very serious relationship. Him and my mom talk all the time. Um, we're looking at engagement rings. Uh, I think he bought one yesterday. He said he did, but I don't believe him. Wait, hold up. Time out. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold up. You've been with this man who's 40 years older than you, who spoils you because he's wealthy. For Mm -hmm. two months, you've been with this man. And he's already looking at engagement rings. Last time I got engaged in 15 days. I'm a good girlfriend. I'm a really good hold girlfriend. Hold on, hold on, time out. I need, I got, I got, I need to understand this for a second. When you say last time, so the guy that you had the child with, you were engaged in fifteen days. The guy I had the child with was my, the guy I was raising the, my child with was my high school sweetheart. Yeah, and then he left. Right, but how? But met. you, but you got, but you got engaged with that guy. Yeah, I was engaged to him. How soon into the relationship were you engaged with him? Years. I got engaged when I was nineteen. When you got nineteen, um, nineteen. Then, wait, wait, did you get left. engaged? Did you get engaged because you were pregnant or right before? So you yeah, got engaged because you were pregnant. Because I was pregnant. Yeah. Okay, nineteen. Not like a meaningful. All right. What happened and, after that? What happened after that? Then he left. Blah blah blah. blah and then I meet uh, my last ex that I also was taking care of, mm-hmm. and. He proposes in 15 days, beautiful four carat diamond ring. Like I had like picked this ring out. I was like, how did he get the exact ring I wanted? Um, okay. And I think I was just, I was young. I was 20. I wasn't even 21. I was 20. And I think I was just like blown away at like, oh my God. And what'd like, you that's say? Beautiful. Like, wow. I wasn't thinking at all. I was just like and love quickly. So you accepted a proposal that happened 15 days after you met someone. 15 days after we started dating. After you started dating. How long did that relationship last? That was my two year relationship. That was though, a, that he had an affair in. A two year relationship with a man that had an affair with you proposed to you 15 days after you started dating with him. Dating. Right. Um, mm-hmm. So now I guess I would still consider you young. You say when you yeah. were younger, you're 23, right? Yeah. Um, you're now in a relationship with a man that you've been dating for two months and you guys are looking at engagement rings. Yeah. Do you see a pattern here? I just have that effect, I guess. No, 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 no. It's not a matter of effect. It's also what you accept, right? Would you accept yeah. it if he proposed to you? Yeah. Okay. So do you think that is a reasonable way to approach a relationship with someone? Yeah. I think if you fall in love, you should just do it. I'm going to sound so cheesy, but you should just do what your heart says. Do you? Okay. I mean, last time your heart said to accept an engagement from someone, right? Mm -hmm. But then it wasn't until two years into the relationship or maybe a year into the relationship that you realized this person wasn't the right person for you? It wasn't that this person wasn't the right person for me. It's that this person had grown into a person that um, was very insecure. They were not the person I was originally like. I mean, you can, you, can, like you can word it whichever way you want. The, the bottom line is <clears throat> the man that you accepted a, a marriage proposal with, you didn't take enough time to get to know how you guys are going to grow together, which direction you guys are going in. You found that out after you've already accepted a proposal because he proposed to you 15 days after you guys started dating. So it didn't leave you enough time. So you were basically at the mercy of whatever happens, right? Um, Is there a reason you guys didn't get married after that proposal, like a year into it? Yes. What's the reason? I found out he was still freaking married. Well, what?
Wait. <laughs> Hold up. I don't mean to laugh, but you got to see how random no, you this can is. Laugh. I, I, I got you, you but laugh. I'm trying to be respectful to you because I'm not, I'm not laughing because I don't want to, I don't want to, I'm not making fun of you or whatever. It's, it's the situational aspect because you and I had a brief, just so everybody knows, I have brief discussions with my guests to get like little insights on them. I don't know every single part of their story. So some of the stuff that you say, as it comes out, I'm discovering naturally. And my natural reaction is like, what in the hell? Right? So you, yeah. and, and, and the reason why I'm laughing is not because of you. It's not because of the situation. It's an absurd situation. I get that. So the reason why I'm having the reaction that I'm having is that is an important detail that I'm wondering why wasn't in the forefront of this conversation when we were talking about the guy that proposed to you 15 days after starting dating you. And we, we spoke for like 15 minutes about this topic, but only now you're mentioning you found out that he was married. How soon into the relationship did you find out he was married? He wasn't married, like in a relationship married. They were separated. Okay. Um, but legally, he was still married. So they had been separated for like three years. Okay. And they were legally still married. So, and that's so the reason, that's the reason you got, you, you didn't get married. So what was keeping him from being actually legally separated? I don't know. I have no idea. He, well, he was like legally separated, but not legally divorced. No, I got you. I got you. I got you. Um, yeah, I have, I have no idea. Well, her family was, they were billionaires. And so he got like an allowance. So I think that was, I found that out after the fact too. So um, any man's going to accept an allowance. But you were taking, but you were taking care of him. So what happened to the allowance? Um, well, he was taking care of me and taking great care of me for like a really long time. And then he was like, oh, I fell on hard times. He didn't actually he lied to me, but I was still taking care of him hmm. for those eight months. Yeah. We were together for two years and he had an affair for six months and I was taking care of him for Damn. eight months. And after I started taking care of him, he went and started having an affair. You know, I, so I, got I, I, have, I have a theory. I feel like men who are, this is this is probably going to be blasphemous to a lot of people, men who are being taken care of by women and are insecure about it are going to find security in other people. Yeah, 100,000%. Yeah. And also it's because, like, once you take the supporter, not the supporter, the, uh, I guess the supporter role away from, like, a lot of men, they kind of, feel demasculated because like they're supposed to be the one that's like yeah. providing and like taking yeah. care of their family. Right. And so I feel like they just kind of like look for that in other people because to that woman, that's not his role anymore. Yeah. To another woman. Yeah. She'll still see him that way. But this woman, no. Yeah. Maybe never again, unless he like gets on his game. Yeah. No, that's, that makes sense. I think you're, you're raising a great point because and you experienced it firsthand, like that dynamic, although it seems trivial and it seems like very primitive, but that exists in us in so many different ways where like our egos and our, you know, value is tied to some of the things that we think is like washed over by the idea of equality that sometimes yeah. when, you know, we don't realize those that level of insecurity that exists in both men and women, because I know there are also women who they don't feel woman enough in a relationship and they go and cheat yeah. or they go and seek validation outside the relationship in a very unhealthy way in order to find that, um, that value that they seek in themselves. Um, and I think that's also real. Yeah. I didn't ever think about it from like a girl's angle. Yeah. But yeah. That makes a lot of sense. I'm not a cheater. So I just, I never thought about it from like a girl's angle. My friends don't either. So right. I just, I'm so, if, that. so that makes sense. So if you picture a scenario, if you picture a scenario where like, and, and I, and I, and I have to be wary of like your scenario long-term, you might not be this type of person, but 
when you're with a wealthy person, I'm imagining that there's going to be instances in the long term. Let's say if you were to get married and you're living in chateaus, everything's taken care of, everything's being handled. You don't have to t- lift the finger. You got chefs that are cooking. You got, you know, people that have taken care of your child. At what point do you become bored? Right. At what point do you not feel like you're adding any value in that relationship? You're just there to consume. Um. I know what my job is in this relationship. Yeah. My job is to look good for him. Okay. Keep his belly and keep his balls empty. Wait, that wait, is wait, my wait, job. wait. Say that one more time. I think the thing cut off. What's your job in this relationship with this man who's 40 years older than you? My job is to look good for him, keep his belly full, and keep his balls empty. Damn. And I do my job. How He's do not going to get bored with me. Do you, I'm not going to get bored either. And do you like that job? I love my job. Okay, beautiful. All right. So he gets whatever he wants because I get whatever I want. I got so whatever you. he wants. I'm like, okay. I re- listen. I. <laughs> I'm a good girlfriend. <laughs> I, I, listen, I, I'm not mad at it. Again, if that is the exchange and that's what the value he gets and that that's what he likes, I'm not even mad at it, right? But yeah, we're both having fun. I, I- <laughs>